Hey guys, Rex here, and welcome to the 13th episode of my single player Let's Play. And I know it's an unlucky number, but let's hope everything goes to plan because I've got some awesome things on today's agenda for this episode. But before we begin, I must announce that the moment we've been waiting for is finally here. The Replay mod has officially been released to the public, so you can head down to the description, click on the link, and go to the website, and you can check it out if you want to try out the Replay mod. And I would highly recommend it, especially if you're a content creator of some kind. It is super awesome completely eliminates the need for camera accounts and just allows for so much flexibility with what you're doing here. Um, so like I said, head down to the description and click the link so you can check it out. But as well, before we begin, I must talk about last episode, guys, because uh, if you don't know, last episode was pretty special. We recorded the whole thing using the replay mod just for fun, and uh, a couple of people in the comments didn't quite get the fact that I did that just for fun. It wasn't really meant to uh, be a thing that I did often, or it wasn't meant to be serious. But I did get a lot of feedback from you guys, and a lot of you guys said that the replay mod would be really cool to use in some situations, like when I zoomed up and you got an overview of the pigman farm either while it was running or you know when I was climbing the ladder whatever uh, you guys thought that that was a really cool use of the mod but then obviously for the whole episode it doesn't really make sense to use it because it's way too much effort and it doesn't really look too good especially you know you can't see my inventory and whatever I even got a comment from Isuma about it which is pretty awesome and he thought the same thing so I totally agree and I think the replay mod is going to be really useful for let's plays like even if you just want to integrate it a little bit and for time lapses or whatever, even if you want to use it for other than time lapse things, if you use it appropriately, it can really add a lot to your videos. And that's what you guys seem to like and uh, be saying in the comments. But what are we going to be doing today? Well, like I mentioned last episode, there are a couple things around the back area of my base that I want to be changing up before we get moving on to the rest of it. And a couple things here and there, uh, in these tunnels for example. So. The first thing I'm going to talk about being the elevator. We all know this elevator, you've seen me fall down here a couple of times. It is not very good. It's super easy to fall down and you almost die when you go to the bottom and then you feel like you don't want to wait to regenerate and you press the button again, you go up and you fall down and die and it really sucks. And you lose all your XP, which would be especially bad if you have as many levels as I do now. So we're going to be switching this up to a new design made by Cube Hamster and the thing is with this design the redstone is a lot uh, longer. It goes a lot farther back. See how this only goes like five blocks or so? The the new design, or maybe a little more than five blocks, but the new design goes a lot more farther back. So we're going to have to be extending these hallways to compensate for that. And I actually have some things that I want to be putting in there, uh, in the hallways. And the second thing being the actual hallways themselves, the archways here, uh, to be more precise. Um, these archways are way too small and boring looking to be entrances into a major part of my base here and you know this little two block wide derpy I don't even know what you want to call it doesn't really do it justice so we're going to be taking out these pillars here and instead putting in these big huge archways uh, that look very nice and are super easy to run through and there's going to be the tunnels here like I said with stuff in them all right and the last thing I believe I may be forgetting something but is this scoreboard. Uh, I'm going to be designing this room. We're uh, doing a couple of redesigns of this room. It's going to stay the same basically, but I'm going to move it this way, which is going to be such a pain because the hallway is going to get longer and because I am going to be needing another digit on here, I'm going to make it wider. And this timer is meant to count the number of days on my world, or I've spent on my world, and if I'm AFKing, obviously, it's going to increment the days a lot, so I'm thinking I might need a fifth digit. I don't know if I'm going to be, need, be needing it or not, but it's better to change it sooner than later. Obviously, I don't want to put the redstone in and have to change it, change it after that. And the other thing being, if I can't really add a fifth digit if I keep the room this width here, I might, I'm going to have to widen it because just you can tell by the design here that if I make it like I can't really do much with it, right? I could cram the numbers against the side, but that would look silly. I could, you know, dig out more here, but that would also look silly. So we're gonna be making the whole room wider here. So 
This is going to take quite a while, actually. So I'm going to get some things together, and then let's get started. And I got a derpy Alex arm for a second. Okay, before we move on, I have to say that I am a derp. Because I've been complaining about the fact that I don't have any iron. And I totally forgot that I have over two stacks of iron blocks down here. And now I'm stuck. But I do have, like, stacks and stacks and stacks of emerald blocks that I can use to replace these. So I think we're going to be good on iron for our massive project. Ho oh, ho, it's progress update time. And as you can see, I've been busy. So, this is what I have so far. I've torn out the old elevator, so can no longer get up. However, I stuck a little ladder right in the middle of the beacon here, uh, so I can get up if I need to access the surface, which I shouldn't really need to do unless I need to go farm trees or something like that. But, as you can see, I've put in the big archways, and there's a little bit more wood going on here, and I think it looks really good. We've got some detail with the fences here. This is where the new elevator is going to be, obviously, and I probably should add the button back. But we've got this little platform extending here, and I really like the look of this. And it's got some light. We added some lighting here because this area was a little bit dark before. But especially the the ceiling areas are a bit dark, and it's a bit dark in the middle. I'm gonna have to fix that later when we get into you know adding what's gonna be right here. And so as you can see, we've got the wood going around, and then we've got an archway here. And I actually forgot the pattern on here. There's a little pattern here with some stairs, and we've got another light there, like I said. And under the carpet here, we've got glowstone. I've got glowstone underneath all the carpet, I believe, in my base. Yeah, I think I did that on a live stream recently. And so, yeah, this is this. The tunnels are going to extend all the way back. I have a lot of demolishing to do. This is going to take a lot longer than I thought. So, I don't know if we're going to get the whole thing done this episode, but let's keep our fingers crossed and hope nothing bad happens, because it is episode 13. No, I'm not superstitious or anything, but, you know. And... I thought I should mention, actually, that as well on a live stream, we started to redesign these storage hallways a bit. So, these ones I'm going to tear out, because I need to fix them a little bit. Not tear them out, but, you know, change them up a little bit. Uh, the storage hallways because I need to swap these these out the the um, what am I saying here the side one here and this side one here and then the front one is going to stay how it is and you can see I've added in the middle of this little section here we've got a crafting table ender chest and the input chest for our storage system here that's going to be going in in the future I've added some item frames and so this one is pretty much completely done other than you know anything that may go at the end and then these ones are going to be swapping out but the main focus for today is going to be this back area, so I'm going to keep doing some work, and I'll get back to you, Ooh, forgot this, uh, when I've done a bit more. Alright, time for another progress update here, and Superlink, you're going to have to avert your eyes for this one, because I have torn out the entire room here, everything but the ceiling, and it's looking pretty funny. And as you can see, it's creeper land here, you've got one, two, three, four... I think there's even... I'm going to get myself blown up here. Five? Six creepers down here? Maybe more? I count six. Maybe there's six? That's ridiculous. And so... Uh, the reason I tore this out, obviously, is because we have to shift it all back and make it wider. And so that's going to be a pain. I actually realized that quite a few resources were put into this. We can come over here and take a look at all the stuff here. That's quite a bit. And I guess now all we have to do is dig it back. So we have to dig a hole nine blocks basically that way. So it's not too far, but it will still take a while. I'm going to double check that because I don't want to mess it up and build the whole thing in the wrong spot. So I'm going to get rid of these bats, get rid of these creepers, and dig some holes. Digging has been done. As you can see, we've got a much bigger hole this time. I've basically taken the whole thing and shifted it back. So we've been doing a lot of precision digging here. We can see that I've mirrored the, well, not mirrored, just sort of pushed back the exact sort of outline of where the place goes. And uh, there are a couple bits that are not exact, like over here, over there, whatever. But the point is, uh, I'm going to be moving the room over. Like I've said like a million times now. I don't know why. But I think it's time to get started. So let's roll this time lapse. Nope, I lied. Not starting the time lapse yet because first I decided to change the whole shape of the room to be exactly the shape I wanted uh, so that I can just go and place all the blocks here don't have to place any stone or whatever and this 
took forever. I also forgot that I had to widen it, so I did that as well. Uh, it took forever, guys. It took absolutely forever to place all this stone and move it all around. Like, digging the hole took probably a quarter of the time of placing all this, you know, making the room the correct shape. And, yeah. So, but now that this is done, I think it's time. Let's do this!
All right, guys. Here we are in front of our brand spanking new five-digit display. And this place is looking pretty amazing. We've got our brand new large archways and our brand new large portal and this fancy thing in the floor. You're going to figure out what that is in a couple episodes, hopefully. And uh, I haven't done these because I have, I'm have. i going to put some special redstone things in here. And I don't want to build it yet. I don't ex know exactly even what I'm going to be putting in here. But this is the room. It is looking pretty awesome. It looks more or less the same as what it was before. I made a couple little tweaks to it. Once again, thanks to Superlink for designing the original room. Um, I do think it looks amazing, like I said, like four times now. And so, you might be wondering why haven't I lit the portal yet? And the reason for that is recently I found out that portals actually make more sound the more portal blocks there are. So, here, if I light the portal, it's super duper noisy. And I don't know what I'm going to be doing about that, because I like my block sounds up super loud, like my placing and destroying sound. I like that super loud, but that's also where the portal sounds are. So, uh, I might actually take my resource pack and make the portal sound really quiet. And that might be my solution to this. Uh, so there are a few little things we're going to be putting in this room in the future. Like, uh, here we're going to have some hidden crafting tables and stuff, but I'm not going to spoil too much. Uh, I hope you like that time lapse. It took a lot of effort to edit all that replay footage and a lot of time just to move this room over and make it bigger. And So you might think I'm crazy for taking the whole room and moving it, but I think that it's going to be worth it. So in the next couple episodes, we're going to be working on some redstone because you might be wondering why on earth there's like almost no redstone in my base if I'm a redstone channel. And yeah, I think that's pretty much everything for today. So if you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to leave a like. It would be much appreciated. And follow me on Twitter if you want to catch up with me and figure out what I'm doing. But once again, thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you next time. Rex out.